We start off by buying another group of cows on an online auction. If you haven't seen the first video, it's worth checking out. Now Holly and I have to go out to a field to chop a little off the end to see if the moisture of the whole field is worth chopping or, or shelling. You're, you're doing good, you're fine. Questions? Right there. I, I couldn't stay. There was a big ditch. I was going to ditch the whole I know. Planet. You got two. I was lower than you. So. I know. I couldn't stay. I would wreck the ramp the trailer. I know. It's fine. I'm going to take a couple samples of the two fields that we just chopped so I know how wet it is. I gotta climb in there. I walked around the whole thing and I realized there wasn't a uh, there wasn't steps on the side, so I drove up to the shop next to the ladder that just happened to be outside. So we're gonna use that. So I'm way up on I'm way up on top of the ladder now, and I'll show you how I'm gonna do this. The first stuff I chopped was on was on this side of the trailer because I shot it in from that side. And the last stuff I chopped, I was shooting it in that way. So that's the, the last field. This is the first field. And that's how I'm going to take my sample. So I'm in the wagon. Here's that corner of the second field. And that's the first one. So just going to grab a little bit here and there along the side put my pail. This is what it looks like inside the big wagon. Whoops. Got my two pails. Just barely made it over that edge. Now we're going to head to the uh, moisture tester. Home of the moisture tester. All right. So, like the calendar from 2006, typical farm office here. We start off by having our scale set at zero to make sure that this is balanced, it's uh, calibrated out. Then we're gonna put 100 grams on there and we take our our uh, sample here and we put a hundred we make that thing go to a hundred cool sticker it's just starting to move look at that I might have got it perfect 
I think I did. So that's 100 grams. Now, put it on that, plug it in. It's like a toaster. See, that gets hot. And it's got a fan. So it dries all the moisture out, and then we reweigh it. And then that is how much. Um, the difference is how much moisture was lost, and that would be called the dry matter is what's on the scale. So we'll come back in half hour, 45 minutes. Okay, that's a lot crispier when it went in there. So, haha, it's hot. How do you know? Sixty-five. Sixty-five. No, forty-five dry matter. Forty-four dry matter. That means it is fifty-six moisture, which is very dry. It's no, that's not good. It does not ferment well for the cows. It makes me angry. Angry inside. Which one was that? That was the wet one. No, it wasn't what, obviously. So after we did the moisture samples of the silage, we decided to go out and shell some more corn tonight. I'm walking behind the combine to make sure that everything is working correctly because different fields have different conditions. So you gotta constantly check to make sure that your, your machine is optimally set. This has been a busy week and we are just exhausted from doing this every waking moment we can as the weather allows us to because pretty soon snow's coming or rain and that will keep us from getting in the fields because it's too muddy and we just push 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 get as much done as we can at the cost of a lot of sleep and um, a lot of other things that we miss out on but we're trying to get done <laughs> 